Good evening, Dan. <coughs> Excuse me. My name is Mike Doyle. I live on Shady Lane. In the October forum, uh, public forum, Peggy McGee spoke for 7 minutes and 41 seconds, and Barty Run spoke for 6 minutes and 21 seconds, uninterrupted. And I would expect the same protection under the law afforded, I believe, two Democrats because I'm a Republican. And I'm going to talk about something that's uh, been troubling me for a few months now. Uh, Many times I've been in this council room for retreats with the, whatever the members of the council were at that time, sometimes all day uh, during a retreat. Never saw a police officer in the, in the room once. Uh, a year ago, you folks had the retreat at the police station, a locked building, which you're not allowed to have a public meeting in a locked building. And that wasn't enough. You actually followed the directions of Chief Tolan and parked your cars behind the building so people driving by who might recognize your car and come to the building and say, geez, is there a public meeting going on here? You hid your cars behind the building so people would not know that you were conducting a public meeting in a locked building. Now, this past year, you held the uh, retreat at the fire station. Once again, there were no police officers in the, in the room. And I completely I, I, I hear this over and over again. Uh, that a police officer is in this room to protect you from me. And the most recent one was November 24th in the Forecaster article, and I'm quoting it. A police officer is present at all Falmouth Town Council meetings in part because of Doyle, according to Falmouth Town Manager Nathan Poor. Now, I'm really at the point where I'm tired of being lied about. And a few years ago, when I got the email list for the entire uh, population of the town that had a email relationship with the town. I specifically asked Nathan and Melissa, do you have an all-purpose email address that I could send emails to compete against what I thought was the propaganda from the town council and the town manager? Oh no, we don't have one of those email addresses. Well, come to find out, Nathan gave me the address in that group of emails that was the all-purpose, all-access email. And during that time, uh, Mo uh, from the forecaster wanted to actually uh, have an investigation. Tony Payne, the chairman at the time, talked about having a town council investigation of me for hacking the system. In no time did Nathan Poor ever stand up and say, geez, it was my, my mistake. I gave him the address by mistake. Well, I'm at the point right now that if uh, Nathan doesn't want to apologize for continuously saying that uh, I'm, uh, I'm the cause for having a police officer here to protect you when the only time there's a police officer in your presence with me is when you're in the town council chamber and it's on TV. If you're having a retreat here, there's no police officer. So if Nathan Poor would like to stand up and apologize for saying that repeatedly, and this goes back in my records to August, of, uh, uh, August 23rd of 11. Now, if he doesn't want to do that, I'll just file suit against the town, the town council, for defamation. Now, he's left the room, so I don't know if he can make the apology or not, but this is the approach I'm going to take, if this is what you folks want to do. And I don't see a police officer here tonight, which is interesting, because I don't know where the police officer is. But this is the first time I've been in this room during a town council meeting with no police officer. So is the town council going to make Nathan Poor apologize to me for defaming me or not?